Good morning, everyone. Hi, Arba. Morning. I'm feeling very fresh. Yes, so am I, after a proper eight hours kept. I don't know why, though, because we were both pretty steaming last night. Yeah, but that's why. And also, I had a pizza hut, and I finished my last two slices in bed, and it knocked me right out. (laughs) Great. So good. Oh, dear. Yeah. So we have a big day today. We do. We're going to a show. Yes. Yes. We're going to go see a show this, like, early evening. Um, We're going to go to... An Irish bar off strip because the show is in the Orleans and there's one there that people keep telling us has a very good Guinness. It's meant to be very good, yeah. So and the food we might have looks to good, yeah. Go and give that a try. Mm-hmm, definitely. And so. then we'll just come back up again, South Strip probably, and see what happens in the night. Yeah, can't wait. And for anyone out there who's keeping count, we've had one hand pay, zero hangovers. Yeah. And it usually goes the other way in our trips, so... Well, it's normally an easy 8-0 win for the hangover, so... So, maybe we can I'm get amazed. a 2-0 win for the hangover. Oh, that'll be good, just like Blackburn <laughs> 5-1 the day. Oh, give up. Lovely waking up to that, so it is. I'm happy all day. Just wanted the ad. Um, we checked out of downtown Grand yesterday morning, came down to the casino, and we bumped into people from Belfast. They're who... a lovely wee couple, um, Nicola and Phil. Yeah. So it was really good to see you guys again. How weird, though, that we bump into them in January, and what are the odds yeah, that you would bump into them again? They were at our group pool in January, and we've done our meet-up, and then just randomly meet them in the downtown Grand three months later. It's just how strange, you know, you come up halfway across the world and meet the people twice. So, so, so good to see you guys. Just good luck. Yes, good luck. house as you can see right between us there it's 12 o'clock coffee and pastries off the table they just weren't gonna cut it actually no. so let's go and try some of these chicken wings and hopefully they're great yeah Okay, so the way these flights work, you get your four flights, you see which one you like the best, and then whatever one you like, you get a pint of it for 15 bucks. And the wings have arrived. Oh, yeah. Like Haribo sweets, it's the only thing I can compare this one to, it tastes like that. 
and then this one is a close second to the number two. Um, it's the House Hazy IPA. It's very citrusy as well, but I'm gonna go for my full pint of this one, which yeah. is New Belgium Voodoo. Yeah, I, I totally agree with Jolene. Um, I thought this House Hazy IPA would have been the best. Um, it was it's really good, and it took me ages to decide. But that is really, really nice. The new Belgium Fruity IPA. I agree, this was horrible. This one wasn't very nice for me, but then as soon as I had the wings, it got a lot better. So again, depends what food you're having. Yeah, but definitely, I'm going with the mango um, for my pint. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly it. Each of these flavor profiles changed when we started eating the wings with them. So I would definitely come in here, grab a flight and some wings. Yeah, but hopefully they're still on because it's a March Madness special. But I think they always do flights Yeah. In some description. I think that's just for March. It was on, yeah. but it's on until the 8th of April. 8th so of April, there you go. If you're out in the next few weeks, you'll be able to yeah, try it. Yeah, be able to get them. But uh, Colorado is where it's at because they're the two best IPAs we have. All right, so we'll both went with our favorite. We went with the new Belgian Voodoo 1985 Mango IPA. Cheers. And it is bloody lovely. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Thoughts on the chicken wings, Jolene? They were really good. The two sauces that we chose uh, were buffalo and barbecue. Both sauces were amazing. The breading on the wings was great, and there was a lot of meat on the wings as well. So. They were definitely up there with some great wings I've had um, yeah. and I would go back again. In fact, if I was to go back, I'd probably put it on my list for another future trip, especially if we can sit up on that little rooftop bit if the weather permits. Yeah, just find a tree there I was showing earlier. Uh, that looks amazing. It's actually far bigger than yeah. you think that restaurant. It's huge. It I can't huge. believe how big yeah. it is. Yeah, I echo what Jolene said. The, the, the wings are amazing. Nice and meaty, of course. The American chicken wings, full of steroids. Huge. <laughs> we don't get that size back home. Ranch sauce was great for dipping. Um, I even took a bite of a celery stick. Tell you what, those chickens ridiculous. must have like Arnold Schwarzenegger trainers. You I know. know right, I know. <laughs> but they were, I, I agree, they, they, were, they, they were, were awesome. Like 9 out of 10 quality. And yeah, the menu looks great in there. Menu. The food looks great coming out. Atmosphere. Server Jonathan was unreal. He yeah, was really he good. was superb. Yeah, he was. So much attention to detail yeah. from that guy as well. Yeah. It's so, got yeah. a serious buzz on from them flights, which were so good as well, you know, so. Yeah. So all in all, Yardbird was a success and yeah. we definitely go back. Yeah, keep choosing people because yes, you're choosing keep right. Alright, we're heading back to the Bellagio. Just gonna get a couple of things and then head off off strip to the Orleans. Stopped in American bar for the happy hour, had a beer. She only had a vodka cranberry. And of course, met two people from Belfast. It's a, it's amazing how this happens. But it's a beautiful day. Okay, we've arrived with our Uber. Um, so it's time to eat again. It doesn't <laughs> seem that long since we had, I suppose, especially if you're watching at home. But honest... it's been a good few hours. We've had a few drinks yeah. at um, America on the Link Promenade. Yeah. Then we went back to the room to freshen up. And yeah. now we're here at McMillan's. Yeah, and we only had like five wings each. So that's nothing. So yeah, exactly. absolutely starving. So we're going to get in here, get some food. And then over to the Orleans, which is so handy, Fresh. right there. We'll forgive them for this, though. <laughs> we all heard the sound from the outskirts of town. It was just after ten in the morning. The ceiling gave way in the mine shaft that day. Death sometimes comes without warning Working the vein, all you have is your name The blood of your dad and your brothers Ooh, the blood of my brothers Ring the bells loud Sing the old songs Raise your glass
my goodness. All right, I was coming in here for Pain to get us right away, but they've got Kilkenny and Draft. It is, it's near impossible to get Kilkenny and Belfast, never mind in Las Vegas, and I love it. So that's coming first. Oh my goodness, this looks like the best pint of Guinness in Las Vegas. There is beautiful domage on it. It looks superb. And this is Jolene's pint. This is my Kilkenny, which a lot of the American viewers may not be familiar with, but it's bloody amazing. Oh my goodness, look at this. This could be the best Guinness. It is the best Guinness I've seen in Las Vegas. Look at the dome on that. Beautiful yeah, appearance Guinness is glass. Time for my favorite game again. Yeah, Let's split, see if I can split, split the, the G game. with Jolene. <laughs> now remember, don't drink too much like the last time. <laughs> oh, that looks too much to me. That looks too much to me. It is again. You've drank even more than the last time. You, really? Yeah, you mad woman. It's blooming lovely though. But yeah, I is like it good? Is it good? Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, we're gonna do the review. One. Yeah, we're gonna do the review soon. <laughs> Unlucky Jolene, just have to order another. <laughs> All right, for our American viewers, um, Kilkenny basically is a red ale with a Guinness head on it, and it is so bloody smooth. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, just, just brilliant. But I'm gonna get a Guinness next. Don't worry about it. There's a review coming up. Now after taking their vow in the story of Ryan and Rose He worked the seam as she tended their dreams Along with the kids and their home Life has been long and yet short as a song They hold on with all that they Here's to a long life and a merry one, a quick death and an easy one, a pretty girl and an honest one. Well, I think Chris looked out there. Absolutely, me. didn't they? <laughs> a cold beer and another one. Yeah, uh, we try to get it on film, trying everything apart from standing in the bar and we can't get it. So <laughs> there's a lot of little sands around here, like up there as well. But we just can't get it. It's really dark in here, so we're, we're doing our best, guys. So, um, the food going out here looks incredible. I know. I'm it's so excited. So good. I had fish and chips until the kill, but then I came here and I was like, well, I'm not going to get the fish and chips, I'm not going to get them. And then I saw a sign that said 2019's best fish and chips, and I thought, I'll best test that out, see if it's still Sam who tests the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be great. <laughs> Alright, Jolene's Guinness had a couple of bubbles in the head, so this is the best pint of Guinness I've ever seen in Las Vegas. This looks superb, this looks like a pint in Belfast or in Dublin. This looks superb, I can't wait to try this. Alright, the Kilkenny's down the neck, the food's down the neck, it's time for the good pint of gin. And this looks absolutely brilliant here. I can tell by the temperature straight away, it's perfect, you know, just... Looks like a proper Irish pub back home. Let's go. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna try and split the G and ruin Jolene's day while I'm at it. See if you do, I'd be so raging. Swear to God. <laughs> oh, I think you've gone too far. Oh, you've definitely gone too far. How's that? Just too short. No! <laughs> Look at you trying to block me and say it's gone too far. <laughs> that is fabulous. That is so good. Oh, I'm back home. Simply, I'm back home. Oh, 
Oh wow. And the thing is, you've just had food, and usually that clouds your taste. But for you to say it's very it does. good, yeah. Normally the taste, it, you, you get bitterness and like a twang to it when you've had food. That is so smooth and creamy, and oh, that's the best pint of Guinness in Las Vegas, right there. The Guinness goes in Las Vegas so far, giving New York, New York a nine, didn't it, for Vegas? This is getting a nine point five. So, somebody tell me whether there's a better pint of Guinness in Las Vegas than here. I don't know if there is. I tend to agree. Mine was fabulous as well. So good. Really, it's, really this nice. This is better than a lot of Orson Belfast. I was going to say that to you. I've had really crappier is. ones back home than yeah. in here. Oh, so much. I, yeah. You know, they say Guinness doesn't travel well. It travels to Las Vegas quite all right, I tell you. Dun, dun, dun. Time for round two. Second out, let's see if I can beat Chris. She's not giving up, is she? That's why I'm always too short. Jolene's always too long. Too long game. Am I? Oh, set it down, set it down. <clears throat> it's a very poor. Oh, you yeah, have, you've done it. But it's not a great one, but you've done it. You've done oh, it. Yes. yes. Oh, super. Well done, Jolene. <laughs> yeah. It's not the perfect right in the middle split the G that we all want to see, but well, you did it. I still split the G with the perfect pint of vitamin G. Well, that's, that's it. In McMullins. 100%. McMullins is the place to go. It's not far off the strip at all. Any Guinness And if lovers? you want to go to see the Ordings as well, stop in here for yeah. a pint first. Stop in here for some food. It took a few minutes for me to record this because I literally couldn't see after coming out of there. It's so dark in there. It's so dark in there. It takes your eyes a while to adjust. Yeah, it? I was like squinting all over the place. Like, oh, I can't even record. I can't even see the bloody phone. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. But yes, the food in there. So for me, I had fish and chips earlier on the trip. You might remember that I went to Tilted Kilt and I had some fish and chips there. And I ordered the fish and chips here because it said 2019's like best, best fish, and, fish chips. and chips in Vegas. Yeah. And while I would agree there are some elements of that dish that definitely warrant that better than tilted kilt. So for example, the tartar sauce was better. I enjoyed the batter more here. Um, but what I didn't enjoy was that tilted kilt had a meatier portion of fish inside. Yeah. So for me, tilted kilt, you get a better ratio of batter to fish. Yeah, I agree. Uh, tilted kilt's fish was better. I tried some of Joni's fish in tilted kilt. A really meaty, good fish. Here was nice, you know, one of my sliders was yeah, the, the fish. Was good. Yeah, it was re really good. Um, the pastrami one, I couldn't even eat, it was way too salty. The beef slider was really nice, that was the best one. But my fries were so over seasoned and really salty. I, 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 I couldn't even eat half of it, it was just like it's too much. And to be fair, I did taste Chris's fries and they seemed a lot more seasoned than mine were. Yeah. They were very salty and I can tolerate a lot of salt. Yeah, could have been an accident. Could've yeah, been, it could have been a glitch. Salt it. I don't know. But we, what we did see when we were here was there was a lot of like things like stew and nachos mm -hmm. and the Irish nachos. All of that looked incredible. phenomenal when it was. I'm glad we yeah. didn't just go with nachos and wings. I wanted to order nachos and wings, and Chris Jolene was like, was "No, right. we've already had wings today." Yeah, Jolene was right. Yeah, but that, it doesn't put me off in one one percent. One, one percent. No, we'll definitely back come back because here. The, the, the Kilkenny was amazing and the Guinness is the best I've had in Vegas. Yeah. Proper Guinness. Honestly, seven dollars as well. Like seven dollars is a bargain yeah. for a, a pint of Guinness because up on the strip we've paid like eleven, twelve, we paid fourteen dollars. Fourteen to Fremont for a Hennessy's. Just because so, it's an Irish know, bar. You get, get you know, two for that in here. It's, it's ridiculous. So yeah. And it's not far of, off the strip either. In terms of the Guinness as well, actually, we got chatting to the barmaid and mm -hmm. we were telling her what we were doing and why we were filming the Guinness and yeah. stuff. And she said that the owner of this bar, when she first got employed here 15 years ago, said to her that we are out for the best pint of Guinness in yeah. Vegas. And well, they're right. I'm yeah. here to tell you, sir, you may have well have Yeah, you've that. done it. Because they asked him about the lines, cleaned everything, cleaned all the time, cleaned it like twice a week, I think she said. Yeah, twice a that, week. That's what you clean. have to do to get a great pint of Guinness. So, here does it, here does it. McMullins is the place to go if you want good Guinness. Get a taxi off the strip, it ain't far, and then go to New Orleans yeah, and then just hop back. Yeah, especially if you want back. to see the New Orleans. Yeah, 
the mic feels yeah, and the mic feels saving the pints here. I'll pay your taxi. Exactly. So, that's yeah. true. Yeah, you're right. So let's go to the Orleans, do a bit of gambling, and then off to a show. And P.S. If someone gets the nachos, can you let me know what I missed out on? Yeah, please? yeah, I'm a big gobbler. <laughs> Here we go, the Orleans. Never been here before. No, we haven't. Yeah. We've seen a little bit of it in Alfie and Charlie's vlog. Yeah, we've seen a, f a few like bits and pieces, but it's nice to come to somewhere and experience it for yourselves. And actually, they've got a couple of great shows on over here at the Orleans. Yeah. They've got Jersey Boys, which we can both thoroughly recommend. We've seen yeah, that before. Yeah, it was really good. A few years back when it was in Paris, um, and it's like still up there as one of the best shows we've seen in Vegas. Yeah, totally agree. But um, we're here today to see the con the Conjurers, Conjurers yeah. which is a magic show. It's a couple from the UK who do the show, but they were also on Penn and Teller's Fool Us, and they actually fooled Penn and Teller when they were on that show. Yeah, and I think that's how they got their show out here. Then yeah, um, yeah, brand new show. I hear they're very, very good. So it's some really good reviews. It's yeah, had, the like, reviews have been excellent. Famous people yeah. like Maury, the magician's been at it. Penn and Teller have been to see it. Even Perez Hilton's been to see it, so yeah. hopefully it's good. We'll That's let it. you know once we've been in. I said Perez Hilton is endless. There's been to see it, so it must <laughs> be good. But uh, anyway, it, from the reviews, it's probably not long before it's in Planet Hollywood, and you'd be paying about sixty bucks a ticket to see it. Yeah, so. we actually only paid twenty five dollars a ticket for yeah. this show, so. Yeah. You yeah. can't beat it for that. I know that. That's great, isn't it? We haven't really concentrated on shows this this trip, but um, yeah, we'll definitely get some in the next time we're here. But this will be good tonight. I'm looking forward to it. All right, we are on the floor of the New Orleans or the Orleans <laughs> and I got a draft get a stout in a bottle which I, I can't say I've ever seen before can't wait to try it Jolene's went for the white wine well it's a Chardonnay again yeah. in a beaker I just wish somebody would give me a blooming wine glass well because everyone would steal them Jolene that's why I told Jolene she put money in that and I says no it's not going to pay this one's going to pay she, after about $15 she moved and now we're on the bonus thank goodness otherwise I would have got the head chewed off me <laughs> alright uh, I think we're going for broke we're going for three yeah Well, it was my pick, why not? Oh! Six bucks over there. That's not great. We need more than that or a re trigger. Oh my god, that spin. Close. Oh my goodness. 1760. We're never, we, should have stayed in my machine. we are never picking that one again. I always pick five of five. Center of the road. Oh well. We have come into the show area to get our tickets here for the Conjurers. And uh, yeah, Joni's got her tickets and we've got a couple of Trulies and really cheap in here actually. Yeah, $7 each for these. Um, $7. Which is really good when you compare the likes of when we went to Miranda Lambert, it was oh. like $20 for a tin of beer. Oh, it's so insane. Of course it is, yeah. Whenever you come off the strip, you do get things a bit cheaper. Yeah. It it's looks good. very small, very intimate. You know, it's, it's just going to be through those curtains. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's going to be good. I'm sure it's going to be good. Second row. So one more time, an object that is important to you, your favourite playing card, and a random song. Once you have filled out the paper, please fold it neatly into quarters and drop it into the box. You can then head back to your seat. The conjurers look forward to meeting you. You may now begin. Carefully, will you blow on that knot? Perfect. Watch. Strand 
by a strand. Leo, it happens on three. One, two, three. Get off the strip, come down here to the Orleans. Come to the Orleans. You'll have an amazing night. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Amazing show. Thank you. We are just out of the Conjurers, and that was such a good show. Yeah, easily the best magic show I've seen in Vegas. Now, I know we've just seen a wee segment where Natasha and Matthew offered a discount code, but we want to make it clear that we bought our tickets to this show yeah. and we just got chatting to them after and yeah. said about having the YouTube channel and that. And yeah. they offered to give you guys a discount. We get nothing from it no, at all, no, but no, no, um, no. there'll be a link in the description if anyone does want to like get some tickets for the show because. Yeah. Honestly, I can thoroughly, thoroughly recommend that yeah. show. And it's not even expensive. I know, for all it for is. For all it is. And know. it's a really small venue. They have a lot of yeah. participation from the audience, but not in a cheesy way. Like, yeah, it's really fun. Way. It's really no. fun. Yeah. It's, it's all good, honestly. We've been to Copperfield and everything. We've been to a lot of the magic shows in the These strip. guys are they're brilliant. far better than Copperfield. They're they super. Opinion. Don't waste your money in Copperfield. Spend 80 to no. $100 on that. Just get... A, like fifteen dollars in a taxi, come off. Fifteen dollars in a taxi, twenty nine dollars is a standard ticket price, but yeah. obviously we've got a link in the description for yeah. some discount. Yeah, absolutely love it. Yeah, absolutely beautiful people. And what a show! Yeah. I, I knew nothing about it until it came to the show. Fantastic, fantastic, really yeah. is, Jolene. Well done for Jolene seeing them on TikTok, and that's a part <laughs> of social media, people. Exactly. All right, off that superb show, absolutely brilliant show such a good time uh, we have time for a drink at the alligator bar so we're gonna put some money in in the slots uh, we're gonna play some have a little drink Jolene has dragged me to MGM. I say drag me, I wanted to come, but I think she has a hidden agenda. And I think you all know what it is. Starts with an L, ends with an S. Yep. Okay, we've come to Tropicana for one last look, and it is Ram tonight. Obviously, the last night has attracted people here, so let's have a little bit of a gamble. All right, they've already started turning the machines off, and it's only like half ten, so that's not good. Not good. It looks like they're shutting the casino down. One by one. We thought this would be a late night thing, but wow, this is strange. Very, very strange. There's still some machines on the casino floor, but look at this. This is eerie. This is really strange. Why would you want to stop business? This is crazy. It's like nobody knows what is going on. They've closed the restrooms, uh, turned down the slot machines, but there's still people at the bar, there's people at the cashier. This is like the world is falling apart in this place or something, I don't know. Absolutely crazy. All right. 
right? The celebrities are out in show, and I don't mean me and Jolene, of course, we're just tagging along, you know. <laughs> Even you think these machines are on, they're out of service. This has been so strange tonight. Drinking at the bar over there, there's been quite a lot of vloggers here, we've noticed. And the conjurers who we want to see were here. So strange. Show me Vegas, uh, they were here too. So everyone wants a piece of the last night of Tropicana, but we're not even gambling here because if you had anything, you mightn't even get paid out. The last time that you would have seen us was uh, we went in the MPM and then nothing off that and all of a sudden the Tropicana and then the craziness of there. We come over to Excalibur, but there's a reason for that. And you're going to see the reasons in just a minute. Okay, so like I was saying, tonight there hasn't been too much slot play because we've been drinking with this man all night, Matt Bridger. Absolutely. Great to meet you guys. Great, great nice to meet, to meet you, Matt. Pleasure to meet Matt. Yeah, we went, we went to the Tropicana closing, which is a, kind of a bit of a letdown, right? Yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. Uh, but anyway, the good thing is we had a few beers, more oh, than a few beers. Yeah, we yeah. did, yeah. So it's been uh, worthwhile from that perspective, even if the... Uh, the lock, uh, the shutdown wasn't as great as yeah. it could have been. But, but let's win some money now. Let's Absolutely. <laughs> Back at the Bellagio today. If you've been following along, it's been a bit different for us. Yeah. Um, we have had drinks, we've been off strip, we've done a show, and then we met the fabulous Mr. Bridger. So, yes. um, not a whole lot of action on the slot. No. But four, I... hours, four hours drinking, Mr. Bridger. Yes. <laughs> four hours drinking. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So um, we, we've had a fabulous night. Oh, great night. Um, yeah, great we night. might go in and do a little sneaky. See if we can get a bedtime bonus, Chris. What yeah, about that? Yeah. I <laughs> think, here in I think Joni will put me to bed and then try and get a bedtime bonus for you all. You I think know. like that's what happened. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, it's so different. We thought we were just going to a show and then gonna gamble and then went over to Tropicana, it was crazy there, you can I see. Just saw, like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I can't, I can't believe actually that. That, that's one of my like disappointments about tonight. Yeah. That the Tropicana really didn't embrace the fact that it was their last night yeah. on the strip, and just go balls to the wall yeah, and have is. tables, slots, everything. Yeah. But no. Yeah, there was a lot of people there. There yeah. was a lot of um, also like vloggers, vloggers and everything else. You it know, was, like people yeah. just trying to soak in that last little bit of the Tropicana. Yeah. It was. It's such a shame that that place is going from the strip, but I'm so glad we went there just one time, one last time for the Yeah, that is. I, I agree. Anyway, I'm off the bed. You might see Jolene in a minute. So I've just put this guy to bed, and now I'm going down to the casino. I guess some people just can't do Vegas. So yeah, like I just said, Chris has gone to bed. It's... 20 to 2 in the morning and I am going downstairs for a solo session because I am wide awake and I can handle Vegas on my own. So let's go see what mischief I can get into. Okay, so I've got $25 in free play on this machine. So I'm gonna run it through 10 spins at five cent a norm, 2.50 a press. Let's go, let's see if we can win anything. Come on. Oh. Nope, not the one. Oh. Oh. Might have, like, come on. Ah. These machines have, like, literally been letting us down this trip, but I am forever hopeful. I have two spins left. Last spin. Oh, Jesus. So I put $5 in to make it work. That means I've turned my $25 in free play into $6.50. Per, per, per effort. Okay, so I had no luck on the Chica Bonita, but I've just moved across 
I put $20 in to the, I think this one's called High Stakes. And I've just hit the safe bonus, so let's see what I get. I'm on 5 cent e no, I'm 250, 1.25 a press, sorry. Come on, give me something. Oh, wild, wild, heart. Come on, chip. Oh. Chip me. Oh, let's see it. Last spin. Oh, boring. <sighs> Such a terrible bonus. Let's see if we can get another big one because we all know that small bonuses are followed by big ones. So I cashed out my ticket over on High Stakes and I brought it over here to the Dance and Drums Prosperity just because the High Stakes wasn't doing very much for me and I thought maybe, just maybe, the Dance and Drums will save the day. Let's see. Oh, no. Hasn't worked so far. I'll come back to you when I get a bonus, hopefully. gonna be that many for a nice twelve dollars but you know it's nice to have a bonus so told ya all right I'm also a psychic on the spur time twelve dollars and three cents just keeps me going to try and get the drums bonus okay so when I was leaving the room tonight Chris gave me $20 and said run that through a machine for me and everyone knows that Chris will appreciate a bit of huff and more puff because he loves it <laughs> so let's see what he'll get for his bet uh, so we'll do two cents yes and we will bet 150 a spin so let's see if he can get anything for Christopher's $20 so we want a buzzsaw or the six hats. Let's go. Come on, Chris loves you. He loves this machine. He'll be so happy to know that I am running his twenty dollars through this. Come on. Uh, oh, what a way! Frick's sake. Okay, a bit more ammo. Let's see. Buzz, buzz. Ah. Uh. Come on. Come on, any more? Any more? Oh, nice. The line hit there for 320. Like, how can you complain? It gives you such amazing wins, this game. Nope. Not the one. Oh, dear. We're gonna have to do the wager saver. Chris, I'm really sorry, but you didn't win anything for your $20. As you would say, half a more puff can suck your problems. Okay guys, so the last you probably saw, I was on, I think, the half a more puff game. I've played for about an hour there, um, but literally haven't had much luck. It's, it's given me a bit of a game, which has been good, but I haven't had a single bonus. Maybe line hits for like three and four dollars played wonder fours i played um a dragon link but still nothing just can't hit that big bonus that we just need you know but um i'm now going back to the room to check on sleeping beauty and make sure that he's okay but thanks again for following along if you've made it this far you have hearts of legends i must say if you're watching us guys just bumble around the strip but um, yeah, thanks very much for following along and we'll see you tomorrow.